It was Shady Spring Girls coach Brandon Bennett. First of all, Brandon, uh, <laughs> were you ever concerned that you might not have a season? But oh. it's been a long time coming. It's, it's spring. We're getting started. Oh yeah, but we we were really concerned. Um, you know, when we hit, we got started there. You know, we had we had picked our flex days to be before the uh, before the season had started. So we had those days in, and then we had that week of practice. I think everything got shut down maybe on a Thursday evening, and. Uh, we were really disappointed, and then we thought the restart was going to happen, and it didn't happen. And we were disappointed again. I think if you ask any of our girls, we were very disappointed. And then, you know, when when this moment came that we got to play, uh, we were extremely excited. And so, yeah, we're we're definitely happy to be here. And you had to be chomping at the bit a little bit because you guys are going to be one of the favorites in the uh, in your region. I'll get to the region layout here in a minute, but uh, that had to make it doubly tough just knowing that. For the first time in a decade, Shady Springs is going to have a team capable of winning a regional championship, making it states. Right. We we know it's been a long time uh, here that we've been significant at, at Shady Springs girls basketball, and then we knew that this could very much be a year for us. Um, we have a lot of kids back. We've been working with them for the past couple of years, and the coaching staff's done a good job with them. And um, they're good hard workers. We knew uh, what the future holds for us this season. Um, we know we have a whole lot of kids back again next season, but we, we want we want it to be right now. And so uh, we're very excited to be back. What did it take to build the program back to where you're uh, kind of on the on the edge of just kicking the door in on the state tournament? Right. I think uh, I think really it takes the the effort of the kids. Um, you know, uh, I think it's all on them. Kids like. Uh, Kiera and, and, and Brooklyn and, and Liv and uh, Ashley Gabbard and um, uh, Kelly Adkins and some of these kids uh, who've been with us for the last couple of years, um, they've, they've wanted to see improvement and uh, they've been working not just during basketball season and, and getting themselves in a position uh, as teammates to be there. So I think it takes the kids who have the effort and the desire and the vision uh, that, that, that's the same as the coaching staff, and I think that's what it really takes. Wait, the, the girls you mentioned are all start members of your starting five. But what, how good can this starting five be, do you think? Um, I think it's a tremendous starting five. Um, you know, right now we're without Kelly. Uh, Kelly will be with us back here in a couple of weeks. Um, so we have a freshman in the lineup right now, Kylie Barnes, who is a really talented freshman. We think that the, the that five that I mentioned before are uh, – they have enough experience. Um, they have enough talent. Um, they've got enough drive and hunger. Um, they're, they're very skilled. Each of them have improved every year that they've been with us. Um, so we're excited just to put them out there and, and let them play and see what they can do. Uh, your leader, obviously, is going to be Kia Richmond. Uh, I think she had 20 points the first game she ever started right. in high school. You had to be on this uh, day when she would be to get them some girls that, you know, was equal talent where they could uh, – you know, right, have, have a chance to make this a program that's uh, right. Well, when you have a player like Kiera, um, it brings everybody's level up. Um, you know, uh, when, when Kiera pushes somebody in practice, um, you have others who want to bring that level up as well, and, and they just start playing hard like her. She sets the standard, sets the tone, um, and that is a key thing. And, and whenever you have a player like that, it's going to make your whole team better. Um, and that's that's an obvious thing that's going to happen. And I think she's a girl who plays in the summer too, and that's probably something you didn't have a whole lot of over the last decade. Right. I mean, I know you're going to, this is your third year right. being at Shady, but uh, is that kind of the example? Is that, is that what it's going to take you to take to build this program and well, have some staying power? Yeah, I definitely think so. I mean, if you look around at other girls' programs inside the state, um, there are a lot of girls that play travel ball and, and a lot who play a lot together uh, throughout their whole, whole lives, uh, through middle school and high school. And it, that's really what it's going to take here. And we're in the process of trying to work on working on some of that. We know that COVID has been an issue, so it's uh, hard to really get kids together uh, like maybe they have in the past. But uh, definitely it takes that type of travel program and kids who are willing to play outside of the season to really get your program up to, the, to a state tournament type level. Uh, talk about some of the other talent that you have in, in that starting five and just yeah, like, um, their strengths. Right. Uh, so we've got uh, two seniors um, on, our, on our roster. That's Liv Tabbitt. Uh, she's a post player. Uh, Liv's a good shot blocker. Um, she runs the floor extremely well for a post player. Liv has put a lot of effort into being a, a post scorer, uh, something she has not done the last couple of years for us has been a post scorer. She's ready for that this year, and so we're excited to see what she does there. Um, Ashley Gabbard's our other senior. Um, Ashley uh, came to us at the end of the season last year and said that she wanted to be a significant starter. And so she went to work in the gym. She didn't play travel ball, but she hit up any gym that she could find and she shot three after three after three after three just to make her game better. Um, she's also improved greatly. Um, Brooklyn Gibson, uh, a junior for us, Brooklyn has increased her strength 
Um, she's a lot stronger than what she was last year. Um, she's become stronger with the ball, can handle it well. Um, she's also improved her outside shot um, and has, has been very impressive here early on for us. Um, Kelly Adkins uh, is a tremendous rebounder, um, and, and I think you'll see that uh, as soon as you get to watch her play. As far as a defender, uh, there's not many better on-ball defenders you'll find than Kelly. Uh, Kelly's very athletic. She's also improved her outside shot. She's improved her post play as well. Um, there's a lot of moves that she can go to, uh, so we like what she has. And um, Kelly Barnes, um, she's, a, she's a tricky little freshman. Uh, she's got great court vision. Uh, she's left-handed, uh, can finish around the rim, she can shoot it. Um, so she's, she's kind of a fun, exciting player to throw in uh, with, those, with those older kids. What do you make of this uh, section of the region? Obviously, it's not the old region three. Uh, you know, there were some new teams, new blood trails moved all the way up. You've got Sissonville Hoover moving up. Obviously, Westside's still there. But uh, a little bit of the same, but uh, a lot different, too, in, if you look across the region. Right, yeah, it's, it's interesting. You know, the section's pretty much the same. You know, we know that Pikeview, Independence, and Westside are still there. But, yeah, when, when you look at our region, it's teams that historically we haven't really played when talking about Sissonsville and, and Herbert Hoover. So those are teams we're going to have to get accustomed to and, and get to see a little bit, um, which is exciting, too, I think, for everyone in the area to get to see different teams. I think that's a good thing. Uh, of course, you know, we've, we've played Midland Trail for, for a long time, and it's been a little bit since we played Nicholas County, so it's going to be nice to kind of get that relationship back in and play them as well. So, yeah, we're excited for a new region, actually, and a little, little bit of change. Is, is it any different in the attitude and in, in practices? And uh, because well, it's all you really got to do so far is to practice it. Right. But being the one that's being the chase instead of doing the chasing, but I think for the longest time everybody in this region was chasing Wyoming East. Well, they're they're still in double A, and a lot of teams have moved up. Is it a little bit different being the one that's? Uh, being the one that's got the bull, you having the bulls right. on yourself? Yeah, I feel like uh, the expectations are higher for us. And, and you can see that in the kids. Um, they're not satisfied with not doing well on a drill. I mean, we've had a couple times where kids have said, let's run that drill back again. We didn't do well. Um, that's something we didn't really see the past couple of years because I think that expectation is that we should be better and we should be the best that we can be. And, and we really appreciate that. And yeah, so that, that has been the biggest change that we've seen in practice so far. It's just the high expectations of uh, not being perfect, but being better. What's the overall strength of this team, do you think? Uh, the overall strength of this team is, uh, you know, we feel like we are a much better defensive team than I think what people have seen out of Shady Spring teams in the past. Um, they're gritty. They'll get on the floor. They'll take a charge. Um, they can get up in your face and guard. Um, they, they help well. Uh, they play like a, like a unit team on defense, and, and that's what we're most excited about. You almost sound like the boys coach here now talking about defense. <laughs> yeah. I guess you got to talk a little bit. Of yeah, you know, of course, we, we converse a lot. Um, you know, he, he's, he's a great defensive coach, uh, not just a good one. So, uh, you know, if there's ever anything to ask, yeah, he's, he's the best to ask. Ron guy definitely he holds his head, hangs his head on that defense. Yes, but. he's perfect with okay. it. Okay, hey, Brandon, I appreciate the time today. Good luck this season. We'll be talking to you throughout. Thank you. We appreciate you.